In this video, we're going to have a look to see how you can create an options page within your WordPress site, save values to the options page, and then output those values. And here I've output them in the footer without using any plugins. So we're going to use ChatGPT for this, and we're going to set this up. So let me show you what I've done. Um, here's my oxygen template. Here I have the um, code block output in the custom fields. Here we have the options page that we've created inside WordPress. And you'll see in this case, it's just called my plugin and is found under settings. And over here, we have the snippet that we've added using code snippets to make that possible. And then we're going to use chat GPT to make all this happen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the changes and deactivate, which means now that this page becomes invalid within WordPress, which is correct. And what will also happen then is that I'm going to delete this code block. So that's not visible anymore. And now when I refresh on the website, you'll see that that is missing. So let's head over to ChatGPT. I'm going to start a new chat and we're going to have it create the options page for us. So the way we'll start then is for WordPress write a function that does the following All right so we'll say uh, create an options page and let's give it a name this time called website or let's call it uh, contact options the next thing that we're going to do then is create a form so we'll say create a form that saves values to new uh, to new custom fields to new custom fields and these custom these customs fields will be um, contact and let's say in a text area the field uh, let's make it uh, contact underscore physical underscore address. Let's do the next one as an email field. Email under, uh, let's make it contact underscore email underscore address. And the last one will be the contact number. And then we'll just say and contact number which will be contact underscore number. So there we've uh, given some instructions to chat GPT and let's see how that works out. So this is quite a long function as you're going to see now. So here we can see the setup for the options page, contact options. Is he putting it all together? Then registering the custom fields. And still going. Okay, so ChatGPT has a limit to the length of the chat that it can create. So at some point here, yeah, it's going to stop mid function. And that's because it can't write further than that. But we'll just continue that same function so we can use it inside WordPress and we'll have a look to see how you do that now. Okay, so it looks like we've got to the end of that. And it looks like it may well have completed it all within the correct space. So let's have a look and see. I'm gonna copy that code. And what I'm going to do then is add a new snippet here, options page two. And we'll paste that in. We'll save the changes and activate. And let's have a look and see if we do have a settings page. So, yep, now we have a settings page here called contact options. So I'm going to open that in a new tab. And there you can see we have a physical address, an email address, and a contact number. So I'll go address line one. 
one, two. Now, because it's in a text area, it may not respect the uh, break in the lines. So we'll just have a look and see if, if what happens there. Here, I can put in my email address. And over here, my number. And let's save those changes and see if that works. So the information is saved. And if I refresh the page, that remains right. Next thing we want to do is output that inside Oxygen. So I'm going to refresh refresh Oxygen after having done that. The other thing that I want to have a look at now is how to output these values. So when we have a look here, um, I'm going to just uh, chat now is how to output the values in my theme. Out the save values in my theme. And ChatGPT will now give us the code. So here we go. So ChatGPT is giving us all the code that we need to output the values. So I'm going to copy that code. And now that I'm in Oxygen, I'm going to scroll down to the footer. I've opened up the main template. And here I am under contact. So what I'm going to do then is add a code block here. Um, and I'm just pasting it in as it came through. And I'm going to apply the code and see what we get. So there is the code output. And what I'm also going to do now is just change the text. So primary, let's go to advanced typography, and let's change the color. Right, so there we have quite easily then created an options page, and that's how easy it would be to output the values. In this case, we've used this um, code that we got from ChatGPT in a code block. So the other thing you might want to have a look at is see if this is possible using Oxygen itself. So let's add a text field. I'm going to click on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a look and see if I can insert data. So I'm going to custom field meta options. Now bear in mind that this is an options page and it's not linked to a page or a post. So when I go into custom fields, what you'll notice, and we prefixed everything with the word contact, is that none of those custom fields are available in the standard um, oxygen way of adding a custom field. So what we did, we went to insert data and we went here to custom field meta options and of course they're not available there. So in this case then I've just gone uh, with the use of the um, custom fields. If I wanted to insert this in the header, so if we scroll up to the header here you'll see that there is a number here but that's obviously not the correct number. So what I'm going to do is just add a code block and punch that in. Now I only need the contact number, so I'm going to delete those. And I'm also going to delete everything else except the contact number. There we go. And now this is wrapped in a P tag. Maybe we'll just do a span tag here instead of the P. Apply the code. There we have contact number. So what I can do now is delete that first uh, contact number. And let's just add a little bit of a margin to the right. So there we go. So now I have the contact number at the top. And I also have the contact number in the footer. What I, what I can also do now, because it's a code block, of course, is here in the primary, I can just change that to maybe something like call, apply the code, save. And of course, the other thing that we can do then is now that we have that is we can also go to the contact page and I'm going to edit the page. And we're going to edit that within oxygen. We don't have, um, let's close this piece of oxygen. And we go back here, just copy that code again. 
oxygen is loaded add a code block um, let's just all right so paste it in the code block apply there are the details if i just wanted to um, you know use some of the fields that are here then what i can do of course is for example here i could add a code block paste the code in and then just remove everything except the contact number so i'm going to remove the contact number there remove everything except the contact number here i'm not going to need any of that and i'm also not going to need any of that right so there we're just going to echo out the number so we'll apply the code there's the number i'm going to have a look at that contact number and see if it has a doesn't have any specific class so i'm going to delete that right so there we've inserted the contact number in a similar way we can also do the um, email address and also add a link so one of the things that we we might want to do now is maybe create that um, code the code that we have here and ask it to put a, a link around the contact number and the email address with the telephone number so let's have a look and see if we can make that happen so what we'll do here is uh, create a link for the or wrap wrap the output of the email with with a mail to link to the saved email address and the other one is wrap the telephone or the contact number with a link to call the saved number let's have a look and see what we get now you could also just add that manually it's not a lot of code but let's see if the AI or chat GPT will do it for us so there you can see um, Right, so now if I copy that code and I head over to Oxygen and I'm going to replace this code with that code now. You'll see now that the email address and the contact number can be dialed or emailed. So now when it comes to this number over here, what I can do is just copy the contact number go down here to the contact number paste that in and I want to leave just the reference to the link and I don't want the p tag included and I'm going to apply that code and now you can see we have the number that can be dialed so now I can apply that code and there we have the number just click and dial and then the same with the email address if I go back up here I'm going to copy the email address so I copy that head down here to where the email address is let's add a code block paste that in and remove the p tag and from the end also remove the closing statement for the p tag and that looks correct let's apply that code just made one mistake here somewhere ah okay so the mistake we made is we didn't include the option so we do need to include the email address as well so let's go back here let's 
And let's just wrap that in some PHP as well. And there we have the address and then I can just come in and delete that email address and there we have the email address and you can click and go and in a similar way we could then also apply that to the call button at the top the email address there on the right hand side and then also to the details um, that we have over here for the email address and the contact number so yes by simply asking ChatGPT to output the code, you can complete that all in one place. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching.